So today we're going to continue in Illustrator. And we're I'm going to file new as always. Uh, although I'm not going to fill this out. You should just make sure the inches are here and that you fill out it the way it's supposed to be. I'm just going to do it quick so that we could do this quickly. Uh, this here is the shape tool. If I hold down the button on the rectangle tool, you'll see all the other shapes come up. We're going to stay away from the flare tool unless you want to play with it out on the side here, the margin, um, because that's not really a shape. A shape is closed and it doesn't cross itself, just like we learned last year. So we're going to use these closed shapes. Um, I'm also going to actually, I'm going to do my first shape with the pen tool to show that it can be done so that we can have some original shapes. All right, so my first shape is, I'm just like uh, kind of playing. I'm going to have some kind of a, this is going to be like a retro shape that I like to make. But you can make any closed shape that you want as one of your shapes. And you're going to have a total of six different shapes um, on your page, just like some very similar to the lines. So uh, I made my shape, but it's kind of what I call wonky. Like I don't like some of the joints to it. So I'm going to go to my uh, direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. And I'm just going to like use it to move these handles. And hopefully those of you who have had me before remember doing this when we did our former shape project, which this is vaguely similar to, but it's, it's also very different. So I can move the anchor points to adjust them, or I could also use it to move those handles so that the transition between one joint and the next is uh, a little bit smoother maybe. And if I make this arch go down a little bit, Lower that'll help that too. So there's it's still there's still a little bit that I could do to fix this, but I'm pretty happy with it now. So uh, especially considering that I'm about to shrink it. All right. So using my regular selection tool, I showed you with the lines that you can shrink your, or um, you can also warp your uh, different shapes that you make. So once I have one shape completed and sealed. Um, I can start duplicating that shape by selecting it and holding the Alt button, just like we did with the lines. And you'll see that your shapes, uh, you can make an interesting little, I guess I could call it a collage or a um, composition of 10 of the same shape. Now to create some variation, we're going to do some changes. So once I have, I have um, eight so far, so I know I need to add two more. But once we have some, I'm going to start making some changes so there's variation in my composition. And again, the reason that I'm only working in this one area is because ultimately we're going to have six different shapes with six different compositions. Um, so that's what we're going for. Now, by the way, you can see that this shape is overlapping this shape back here. If I wanted this shape to go behind this shape, I would select this shape and then go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back, and that sends it behind it. Okay, So that's a good thing to know if that comes into play when you're starting to set up your um, different uh, shapes. So I, need, I know I need two more, so I'm going to create one of these over here. And I'm going to, I think I need a big one. So I'm going to select one that's in the back. And I'm going to make it nice and big so it covers the rest. There you go. Or it goes behind the rest, I should say. Okay, and I'm going to take one more of this one. Now, by the way, I don't have to have only 10 shapes. I could make more than that. Also, if I'm holding shift, by the way, here, it keeps them to scale so that they don't warp. All right, so... um. Here I have a pretty interesting composition with some variation of sizes. Uh, I could have also done things like tilt some of them if I wanted to. Um, I could have also flipped some of them if I wanted to to create more variation. However, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I would just like to have a couple more that go off the, um, the main group a little bit more. So I'm just going to move them a little bit more. Actually, I liked that one where it is, so I'm going to duplicate it and have, uh, it looks like 11 or 12 pieces in here. And I duplicated that too. All right, so this is my finished collage for this uh, black and white version of uh, my shape. So now I would go to, to create my second shape. I'm just going to dive into that shape tool and try and use one of those. Uh, maybe I'll use the stars, which I know will be a favorite. And I'm going to shrink the star to the first size that I want to work with. Then um, I'm just going to duplicate it 10 times this time because this way I'll just get to play with their order and uh, how I space them out. So I already have uh, 10. And of course, if I want to add some along the way, I certainly can. I'm going to send this first one to the back. You'll notice that there's also um, a send to front if you want to undo what you did. Uh, and it's not just the last step that you did, so an un actual undo won't work. 
All right, and you can see what I'm already doing to start changing these. I'm going to start tilting them. I'm going to start making ones have different size variations. Um, and then I'll start moving them around. So I'm going to make some teeny tiny and a lot medium. Okay. And then I'll just continue moving them around until I'm happy with their placement. Okay. Um, I think that is a good start. However, I think I need a couple more stars around here. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to move this guy off. All right, so this is my second composition. Um, I want to make sure, like this isn't my best, which is why I'm going to explain that I feel like, I want to make sure that I feel like I have some movement in my, in my composition. This feels like it has a, a, a direction, which makes it a little bit more interesting in my opinion than this one where it's just kind of random. So I might want to work with that more to see if I can come up with a way that makes it look like it's going all in one direction or maybe, um, you know, there's a circle of them around that or something that just give it a little bit more interest and purpose than this, but this isn't a terrible solution. All right, um, so I'm going to come back to you in a few minutes with all of these done, and I'll show you the next step after I have six compositions done. And thank you for watching.